what's your problem? Cause I know it's hard sometimes Maybe just give it some time Oh honey now girl What's up, y'all? Welcome to another vlog. It's another weekly vlog, our first of the year. Today is actually January 1st, and I'll be checking for the date in this New Year's Day. Wow. Anyway, this week, um, you'll know by now, it's all about moving, all about us, PCSing, behind the scenes of a PCS, I guess. Whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But it is paramount that this week, I need to get some things posted for sale basically anything with a european plug so boom selling our printer my desk lamps that have been so good to us i absolutely love these and surprise surprise our freaking christmas tree so um i'm like yo do i just post it immediately because i have the pictures and then i don't really know i've never sold anything in the area so i don't know how long it takes for like the turnaround like for me to actually find a, a legitimate buyer or um so do i post it now and have like time to sell it or do i be strategic about it wait until i'm through with the house and post it on payday because I'm thinking now it's January 1st, we all broke from the holidays. You know, like this month, you really ain't spending a whole lot of money. And um, quiet as it's kept, pre-lit artificial Christmas trees are fucking expensive. That tree that I just showed y'all was like 400 euro. Three years ago. So you know this year they sold it for close to five. 550 euro but i want 300 usd for it that's all we ask i mean i'm not trying to be greedy or stingy i'm like it comes with the instructions it also oh you know you can switch the lights up me and jay did a little video to post with the post you know of like um i'm gonna have to mute this because child we bickering in the background the whole time but it's of the tree you know me just switching it up showing what all we can do and i just a seven foot tree i'm selling this to y'all <laughs> like somebody buying it anyway i don't want to get rid of all of my euro appliances but i hear that um you know life is expensive stateside and i don't know what plugging euro appliances into a transformer is gonna do to the light bill so all of it's gotta go and it's just stuff it's just stuff with this lifestyle that we live like what goes around comes around you know like me i'm getting rid of stuff all the time resetting my life every two to three years like motherfucking clockwork so i really try not to get attached to my stuff also in the moving process like things break they get lost you know so shit happens is what i'm trying to say and i'm trying to convince myself more than you that it's just stuff it's okay okay but um yeah this week coming up i have absolutely zero plans quite honestly i have just been in like I don't want to say it's a social funk or a funk period. I think I've just been like self isolating from my friends because my social battery is just burnt. It's so burnt, but I don't want to isolate myself so much that I have like no friends left when I come out of this. So I saw one of my girls at the grocery store yesterday and I just told her like, I love y'all so much, but I have been, basically silent because i just burned my social battery out and i knew what was happening i felt it coming and i just kept pushing kept going kept going and now baby i'm leaking battery acid everywhere like i can't do it i can't bring myself to respond to a text engage at all i'm talking like i went the long way yesterday just because i had a glimpse of somebody that i might have known It is the new year though so um i changed my little phone background and it says it's already yours the universe i thought that was adorable and now i'm supposed to be going to a vision board party um i think later this week but i actually did like a quick digital vision board and um you know it's my first time doing one of these so i wasn't just really sure i knew for 
certain that I wanted everybody on the vision board to look like me. So it's black girls only and they just live in a best life. I want to do like very intentional parenting. We got a little bit of self care on here. Um, we have some black girl homeowners back here. Rihanna buying a chunk of money, traveling. And then in the very background, I made the base. All we have is now. I love that quote. Um, and it just, you know, it's just such a good solid way to start the new year. So my vision board is on my background. <clears throat> I told myself I wasn't gonna change it for six months, but I feel like I should accomplish or at least be pouring into two or three of these things before I, you know, just get rid of this vision board on my background because I really want to elevate. I really want to. I feel like I'm not living to my full potential. I feel like I'm wasting time. I feel stuck. So I really just want to do things that are going to shake up my life this year. Not like moving to an entirely different country is not shaking it up enough. I'm nervous about that, by the way. I mean, I know I'm American and all, but I haven't lived in America in three years. And I'm nervous about the culture shock because I feel like it's going to be a big one. Um, for our family, some, but um, definitely for my daughter. Like, she was nine months when we moved here. All she knows is Italy. And when we go to other countries, I'm like, girl you know you've been raised in, in the Italian culture. Like just the things that she does, the way that she acts, how she reacts to people and things and situations. It's like, you got Italy written all over you, miss. And America might throw you for a little loop here. Why? I don't know. But, um, hi. Welcome to the new year. I hope your holidays were solid. I hope your new year was very fulfilling and peaceful. And we are going to start this year off, this vlog off, just very, very, very intentional. I don't know who motherfucker representing it here tonight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, fuck that. No more pretty Christmas tree behind me anymore. Am I kind of sad about it? People always talk about this funky time between like Christmas and New Year. And for me, I think this year, the feeling of like sadness that I would normally be feeling at the end of Christmas Day, once like the presents are open and the kids are in bed and I know like the holiday is over, really missed me because i'm not gonna hold y'all i love not giving gifts absolutely love it wish i would have given my kids experiences instead of gifts from the beginning and just let my family like do their thing like we did this year because i didn't get that sensation after christmas At, christmas day was so relaxing so stress-free once it was over it was like okay what's next let's get out let's do this let's experience things and it was fantastic but I do feel like that sensation has hit me. It just waited until after the new year. Like now that the holidays are over, we're back on our regular schedule. The kids are at school, Jake is at work, I'm by myself. I feel sad and lonely, sis. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. And the fact that I have been actively avoiding people in my life makes it even worse. Like ma'am, what are you doing? Do you want friends or do you not? Are you pouring into relationships and nurturing these valuable friendships that you have? Or are you not? Like, pick one. Shell, you can't avoid people and they just and they just be popping up when you need to talk or when you feel in love. Like, no, that's not what I want my friendships to be based on. I want them to be based on like, um, you know, just like a, a genuine, authentic, mutual ground where we call upon each other when we need each other but that's not all we ringing each other up for you feel what i'm saying so uh, i don't know i just feel like i'm in such a weird headspace 
with so many things like this upcoming PCS and oh, this stupid ass issue with this guidance counselor at the school feeling like I don't know like I'm doing too much but I'm also not doing enough like it's just weird I'm in such a weird headspace and I'm going to do everything that I can to fight it I also think it's just it's just you know with the holidays being over the excitement settling us getting back into the routine but also dealing with like this humongous change that's coming up huh it's just a lot it is a lot also can I tell y'all this has been the worst cold and flu season that my family has experienced like since we've been a family it is outrageous when I tell y'all we have been sick since before we went to London <clears throat> which we went on vacation to London for Thanksgiving. The day before we left, my husband looked at me and he was like, I don't feel good. And when I tell you, when my man gets sick, he gets sick because he never gets sick. So when he says he doesn't feel good, like he's truly feeling like shit. So he just casually looked at me and he was like, well, I'm not feeling good. And then we hopped on a flight, which was dumb as fuck. <clears throat> hopped on a flight, enjoyed London. Hopped on a flight, came back home. And then we just have been doing like everything in between going to go see christmas lights um we took another trip road trip to germany and um, i just feel like we haven't had the chance to heal from that initial sickness before london there's been a lot of like sneezing coughing congestion fevers and it has just been impossible to cure it all like stomach issues it's crazy so um this past weekend jake was running a fever constantly we could not get this fever to break the fever finally broke the day before yesterday yesterday he was feeling a lot better this morning he woke up with a huge ass swollen lymph node and it's like how, how much sickness can there be for real can we pass the sickness to the neighbors can we do something can it be somebody else turn like pick somebody else i can't i can't do it i can't do it we at any point like we need our help if we don't have our health, like we have nothing. And I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm tired of single-handedly keeping Kleenex in business. I'm tired of doses of day and night quill. Like, let's just spring. Where you at? Cause I need you. <gasps> Daddy's gonna come home. <laughs> Ew. The Chanel chance. I think this smells so good. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> smell it. Can you smell? Take <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Don't spray yourself. Here, mommy, spray herself. We'll see what daddy thinks of it. As usual, my children are growing rapidly. So I noticed that Noah has a bunch of like. These are cute. Come here, June. Come here, try these shoes on, please. Yeah. A bunch of size six shoes, but I think she's a seven. Come here, let's see. What do you think? I like these. Are they cute? Cute. You like these? No, 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 mm. I don't want this. Oh, Junie. Well, come on, let's at least try them on. Come here, mommy. See if they fit and then we can put these back on, okay? Okay? Please? No. <laughs> I don't want to put a shoes on. Okay. So why she snatched her foot away from me.
Day, y'all. I got a wild hair up my butt and decided to clean the entire living room, but I'm glad it's done. It needed to be done. But um, I have been such a bum about unpacking from Germany. Like, all of the dirty clothes got, but all of the clean clothes that we brought home, you know, that shit's got to be folded, put away, not feeling it. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna officially put Germany behind us today and get the rest of this luggage unpacked. I just feel like once I do this, the holidays are really over. Like they're over for real. Don't do it. Don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. Liquor. good i'm fed and i worked out it's my first workout of the year um things have not changed definitely still a struggle even more so now because um <clears throat> let's keep it real i was not good to myself at all over the holidays at all it started from right before we went to london and it ended um yesterday so i got exactly what i put in 
all holiday season and that workout was was proof of the lack of effort <laughs> so <laughs> okay i'm a sore one already and i'm gonna be sore probably for the next two or three days but mm, i did it i feel good about it um no real vlogging yesterday y'all saw those beautiful roses that jake picked up for me he came home early surprised me with some roses and a car and we popped the bottle of prosecco because yesterday was our nine year anniversary so happy nine years to us like time flies when you're having fun they're not lying when they say marry your best friend after my workout i picked Junie up from school we went to the grocery store it's crazy how moving has kept me like on my toes with the groceries right because if things run out normally i'm like okay we'll just get it during our big grocery run like over the weekend there is no longer a big grocery run until we get to our new house so it's like girl i have to wait for things to run out before i repurchase them and just i don't know like the mom or the nurturer in me sees so much wrong with that like this morning <clears throat> gabriel went to go get some milk and he wanted to eat some cereal and i was like boo you can't have cereal because there's not enough milk for you and noah so if you both can't have it then neither one of you can have it and um joe ended up eating a bagel anyway so that was fine he ended up having cereal so it all worked out but for me i'm like that's just not how we operate in this house like there's always enough milk to go around there's always enough cereal to go around. Like there's always enough food. If my kids wanna eat the exact same thing all of the time for the exact same meal in the exact same quantities, like we got it, you know? So it's just hard for me to let the milk run out, let the butter run out, let the syrup run out, like let the things run out that we thrive off of in this house so we're not wasting a ton of money on the back end, just throwing away things that I have stockpiled this month. So mentally, I need to get over that hurdle and, and let myself know like since you're still doing a damn thing you still are it's okay if both your kids can't have cereal in the meal in the morning like it's cool if they both can't have waffles it's fine just relax we're going to the store today so boom whatever anyway i went to the store and um did exactly what the speech that i just gave you it uh, says the opposite okay i definitely went to the store and picked up two gallons of milk <laughs> I'm not shit, baby. I'm not shit. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, such is life, right? I am still very much participating in the cleaning, decluttering, organizing of this PCS. I am trying my best not to incorporate or, you know, flood you with a bunch of moving stuff. I'm creating an entirely separate vlog for that. Due out once a week, every Wednesday until we leave. At least that is the plan. Y'all wanna do some self-care? At least some skincare, cause I'm in need of a shower. The way that I, like, the amount of sweat that I put out during that workout, criminal should be against the law. Number. Who this for? Who is this for? Who mouth hole is this? Who eye holes is this? What? I'm gonna need Bert to experience the world a little bit more. You gotta start making face masks for the general shape of a woman's face, sir. Come on now, Bert. Get with it. Girl, I can't keep this on no five minutes. Keep it on where? Uh-uh. Bye-bye, Bert. Can't do it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bert did me dirty. Oh! It burned. Oh! It burned! Oh, no. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Mm -mm. Who I need to call? Bert needs his ass beat. For that one right there. 
the goons need to come get burnt. Gotta wash my whole damn face again. even get here child this is what happens when you make plans you don't act on them i sat around all day i have not i was supposed to declutter or at least begin decluttering the kitchen today haven't even started on it actually just got done washing the dishes from the day and i'm in the car getting ready to go to mcdonald's how do we get here i don't know but you know what i was thinking to myself like oh it would be so much better if i could clean and declutter the kitchen while on the night when i'm not cooking so the night has been served up on a silver platter you feel what i'm saying but i um need to act on it <laughs> but am i am i i don't know here's the problem my trainer whooped me she whooped me y'all i'm not even a nap girl first of all let me rewind it back to the this morning like it was a perfect storm um jake poured me coffee but i was so wrapped up in getting the kids ready and out of the house that he left i forgot the coffee was on the counter and so after i was done with my workout i'm like oh i don't need it i feel good and at this point it was already like 11 11 30 when i came across this this mysterious cup of coffee and i'm old like i'm 34 i got no business drinking caffeine that late in the morning it's just not gonna serve me at, at night so i was like well i guess we're just thugging it out today and thugging it out for me a clear caffeine addict which is crazy that's such a slippery slope i only have one cup of coffee but i have it every day normally around the same time and my body is just so dependent on that hit of caffeine but withdrawal for me is like i get headaches i'm sleepy i'm cranky and i've been hitting with i've been hit with all three heavy today very heavy so I'm not even a nap girl. Ended up falling asleep on the couch for like 20 minutes. Definitely have been me mommy today. And um, I have the worst headache. So let's put some McDonald's on top of that and call it a night, shall we? Listen, you ready? Listen. Listen. Here we go, you ready? Daddy, what is this? Hello, hello. Welcome to Saturday. It's been all damn day. Jake had duty this morning. But we get ready to step out just for a second to get dinner, child, because we are habitually food broke in this season of change in our life but tonight i have a vision board party that i'm going to at my girl Kristen house so that should be fun um i'm supposed to make a charcuterie board i've been sitting around all day watching this awful show this show is called fool me once it had potential but the more i watch it like the worse it gets it's eight episodes this is episode six child we in it to win it i mean we like an episode and a half out from finding out what happens i'm so dedicated to watching it play out but i'm also so bored with it that i have already looked up the ending so it's just honest background noise at this point but you if you've seen fool me one let me know what you think i have my book contacts in for the first time in forever and they're not doing me justice at all but when I wrap my hair, I don't like to wear my glasses because I feel like when I keep, when I push my glasses back behind my ear, like it just makes the wrap more loose, progressively loose, and it just loses its shape. And it's so cute right now. I feel like it's perfect. 
birthday. Trick or treat. Wrong holiday, ma'am. I like you practicing though. What is it? Okay, we're getting ready to step out for some food. I need some items for the charcuterie board and then we're gonna get to this vision board party. Yeah, I'm not mixing nothing. Let's get it, ladies. Yeah. 